Okay guys, it's application here and I'll be giving you some tips to get started and also giving you some basics and on how to use Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Uh, for InDesign and other programs, we'll see them later. So uh, I just want to have uh, some impact. I just want someone after this lockdown to, have le uh, to learn something new and go out there and and change the world actually actually the world needs a uh, problem solver so i think graphic design is one of those problem solving uh industries and everything actually design is everywhere if you go to shop right everything like the banners everything it's graphic design if you go to other stores it's graphic design going to pep it's graphic design graphic design actually it's everywhere every company needs a graphic design even fnb there are graphic designers there that are working to to create those banners and everything uh, that concern graphic design so uh, i was just giving you a background to show you like that it's important when you're marketing uh, businesses or brands actually it's graphic design the clothes you wear, the brands, uh, it's uh, those those logos, uh, those designs, they are designed by graphic designers. So graphic design is very, 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 very important. And it's not something that uh, might stop now. No, it's, it's something that is ongoing. Uh, I just want to share some few, 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 few tips with you guys. Yes. I hope you will enjoy and don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel mm, don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will be notified when we post a new video so basically what we'll be doing will be uh, posting a new video every Friday so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, prepare during the week and also record the video and record everything actually and premiere it on my youtube channel each and every friday yeah. actually uh, i'm gonna share some files some uh, gradients and everything actually everything that i know so all you need to do you just need to subscribe and keep on watching my videos so that uh, i hope you also encouraged and everything so and another thing um i'm going to put a paper link below those who want to support the channel they might follow the link and donate something so without a waste of time let's get started uh, okay before we start uh, i want you to note few things uh, to note few things uh <clears throat> first thing uh, i can't teach you uh how to be creative creativity is something that we are born with and uh, what I'm gonna do show you how to use the tools uh, as time goes on like you will you will be creative actually if this is for you yeah you'll be just creative and everything and other thing that triggers uh, creativity is uh, by looking at other people's work so I get inspired by looking at other people's work. So, actually, graphic design is not something that can. It's not in isolation, actually. Uh, by looking at my posters, you can be inspired to also create your poster. It might not look like mine, but uh, you might be inspired by my work to do something. So, uh, before I design every time, what I do. Uh, if maybe someone said uh, they want a poster maybe for for a hair salon or something like that uh, what I do I just go to internet and search hair salon posters then I just check those posters and I check those posters actually basically what I'm doing um, I'm just getting the idea of like how uh, 
a hair salon post that looks like so that when I design then I'll be able to to go along those lines so that's what it's uh, also important to know actually yeah and another thing I'll be showing how to use the tools in Photoshop like uh the most important tools when that i use when i design so i'll be showing you how to use them in different ways so yeah uh, the last thing that we have to note is that like uh, uh people uh especially on social media they don't really 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 uh have have time so what you need to do when you design a poster you have to make sure that everything is clear and uh, simplicity actually is it's key simplicity is key you have to make sure that everything is clear and it's visible and the phones that you use uh, people are able to read them Hi guys, uh, the first thing that you need to do, uh, you need to open Photoshop. Then after opening Photoshop, uh, the first shortcut uh, that I will advise you to familiarize yourself with or to uh, put it in your mind it's uh control n you press control and n simultaneous let's do it control n then uh, something like this will pop up then uh, for better quality you go to print then you go to a4 yeah this one is for uh, posters A4 so I think it says uh, better quality than others but this one here before is more quality so for now we we'll just choose A4 uh, there are th the other things that we have to note uh, there are two types of orientation that I know of it's portrait and landscape mode uh, <clears throat> Lens landscape mode is the is the way uh, <clears throat> you're watching me now like the resolution that it's in now but <clears throat> your phone it's in uh, it's in portrait mode so I think I think you understand I think you understand that let me show you the difference this one is portrait let's create you see how it looks uh, the sides uh, this this side uh, it's uh, it's longer than this side so basically yeah that's how it is this side it's long let's let's do control n again control n then let's go to uh, <coughs> uh, landscape you see the difference this one is landscape this one is portrait this one is landscape this one is portrait uh, that's the difference so most of the time I use portrait to create my posters sometimes uh, I use a square because on Instagram uh, for the posters not to lose quality you need a square so without a waste of time let's get started uh, the first tool that we're gonna I'm gonna show you how it works is the first tool the first tool which is move tool uh, move tool uh, basically what it does it moves things around so let me just uh, write a text and just write online 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 yes then let's 
to increase the the, the size. I don't know what's in it. Where is it? Okay, online. If you want to change the color, then you go to blending mode and color overlay. Where is it? What happened here? Let's do another one. Uh, text. Let me write online. Yeah, this one is working. Online. Then to select the whole text is Control A. Then to when you want to to increase the size uh, of the text, you go here. Then let's choose sixty. Yes, that's how it is. Actually, the move tool it basically what it does it moves things around like this. As you can see, without the move tool, I can't move this uh, online text to anywhere else. So that's what the move tool does. And the second tool that I'm gonna uh, show you how it works is the rectangular my Q2. So this one basically what it does it cuts things so <clears throat> it cuts things so the first thing that you have to know when you want to cut a text you have to rasterize the type you have to rasterize the type so that you'll be able to to cut it so let me let me rasterize it to rasterize you just select it and go to layers and blending option not blending option uh, there's rasterized type there it's already rasterized now uh, then you can go to the second tool which is the rectangular make you tool yes then what you can do you can just uh, move this tool like this you click uh, you click and hold it it's gonna be like this you hold you click and hold and move it so it's gonna be like this then after clicking it like this you, you right click then you go to layers then you select it you go to layers and you select it then you right click then it will give you a lot of options here what you can do you can cut yeah I think it's yeah you see you <clears throat> now it's a uh, it's like two different things and as you can see here there there is a new layer so which means uh there are two layers now so we can manipulate this one in whichever way you want it maybe if you want to 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 change the color here you can do that you can do that and the other important thing is uh, it's it's this thing there is auto select and there is also show controls auto select what it does if you have clicked this thing the moment you you, you click on this thing it will be selected so if the auto select is not clicked the moment you click this one you won't be able to select the other one so you see i can't select this one only this one is selected for me to be able to select this one i have to i have to select it via the layer so uh, auto select it makes things simple you see now i can just select it and drag it I can just select it and drag it because there is auto select and the other thing is uh, show transform controls it's also important you have to click that so that uh, it will show you transform controls uh, <coughs> let me just unclick it you see I can move it but I can I can transform it so what you need to do you have to click show transform controls now, now I can just transform it. You see, you see, you see. Yeah, I think, I think, I think you are learning, you are learning, you are learning. 
let's move on let's move on let's move let's move uh, this one is, is basically also the same thing as this one they work they all work almost the same so like this one it's uh, secular so uh, the, that's the difference I think that's the difference as you can see it also cuts it also cuts uh, we have the, this uh, loso tool uh, it's also for, for cutting out even pictures let me just go and look for a picture that we can cut pictures uh, pictures 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 I need my picture I don't want to use other people's pictures where is it <clears throat> Mm, I need my picture. Picture, picture, picture. Uh, uh, I can't find my pictures yet. Uh, okay, let's just use this one. It was taken by me. Mm, track it and drop it here. Then that's it. Basically, what the tool will do, it will uh, cut out some of the things. Let me just give you. You, sl you select it, then you click and hold, then you move it around. You move it around. Move it around. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna try and perfect it. I'm just showing you how it works. Let's do it again and just click and move it around and copy you see it has somehow cut the 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 the, 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 the subject so that's how it works that's how it works i won't take too much time on this one even this one works more in the same way like this one so, so let me give you another some people i think you also need this this when you're designing posters where you have to remove the background so this tool uh, the quick selection tool it's also for removing background what you do you make sure that you click uh, the second one then you move it on the subject it will just select you just select 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 then after that, uh, after that you'll just right click, then click copy. Then you have removed the background. Uh, as simple as that. As simple as that. Within within a minute, you already remove the background. So that's how that's how I use this tool most of the time. But I, I don't use this tool always. I use this tool sometimes. I look at the picture whether the tool can work or not because it does not work on each and every picture. And some pictures they have low puzzles, so it's unable to, to to select the subject the way I selected it just now. Let's <clears throat> let's just leave it here. I'm gonna use it for for for, for demonstrating something. So what's the next tool uh, even this one works more in the same way like that one so what's this uh, this one I'm not gonna cover it okay the other one that is important is the brush tool how can we use the brush tool the first thing that we need, need to do let's move this thing here uh, you click this thing this thing which means you will be what you will be doing you will be adding the mask and after adding the mask, you click here. The default foreground and background colors. Then, uh, for a shortcut, you can just click the these things. So, uh, these colors will turn. Uh, if it was red here, it will be uh, white and black. Let me just change it to red. You'll see. Ah, oh, what? What did it do? Let me just change it to red. Oh, what's happening? 
Yes, then if you click the it will just automatically be like black and white. So let's use the, the brush tool. Brush tool. Uh, you have to make sure that this thing it's black. This thing is black so that you'll be able to 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 fade some things here. Then I think when you want to increase the size of brush you go here. Just click this drop down arrow, then there is size here. You can just click this thing and hold it. And that's how it is. And for you to, uh, to get some smooth uh, fades, you can just click this drop down arrow, then, uh, and then click and use this brush. It's soft, round, pressure size. So when you're using this one, Make sure that you have selected this thing. And what you do, it's gonna be like this. So that's how it is, that's how it is, that's how it is. I think it, it looks nice, it looks nice, it looks nice. Uh, that's how you can use the, the brush tool. And you can also use the brush tool to, to 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 like just to put put some small background here. Yeah. Let me demonstrate that. Let me give you some demonstration. Uh, what you need to do first, you need to click here and create a new layer. After creating a new, new layer, then you will go there and choose some brushes that will suit uh, whatever that you you will be uh, you want actually. Then you can just select the brushes. Uh, let's 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 try and find some interesting brushes. Can I import some new brushes? Okay. Uh, there's some brushes that I just imported. Okay. Yeah. They, yeah. Even this one. I like these ones. So. Yeah. That's what you can do. And you can just uh, I don't like this one let's choose another one. so you just choose something that is suitable and you increase the, the size of the brush yeah that's how it is you see it looks um, somehow nice but the color I don't like it what you do if you don't like the color you right click and you go to blending options then you go to color overlay then you, you you click this thing then you also select it like this then uh, click here and change the color let's change it to blue let's change it to blue or even a red yeah i think red is fine then what we're gonna do we're gonna change this red again to white to white I think it looks good it looks good it looks good let's do it like this yeah I think it looks good actually that's how the the brush works that's how the brush works you can it's like a normal brush you can just brush you can just brush uh, like a normal brush where you put the paint and the brush it's just like that so yeah that's how it works so even the mister brush but the mister brush you won't cover it in this lesson because uh, i want to cover some important uh, tools that i use even this eraser tool, I use it. Even this background eraser, uh, I use them just to remove some backgrounds on some logos. Uh, yeah, actually on logos. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's use this. Uh, this is a text as you as, as you've been watching. You you saw how 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 we can use this text horizontal type. So what to do let's just write graduation graduation i don't know if it's the right spelling and 
to increase the size you click this drop down arrow then you choose uh, <coughs> you just choose the the size actually yeah the pixels that you want to size in so yeah but it doesn't look nice how how can i change the phone uh to change the phone you just uh click the select the the, the the horizontal type tool then click on it then you click control a simultaneously to select the whole thing after selecting the whole thing then you go you click this uh drop down arrow then the phones that are in your pc will display there so i just realized that i made a mistake when i was typing there so let's just start it afresh <sighs> let's just start it afresh yes 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 i think it can be okay i think like play black it's uh it's not good then to change the color just go to color overlay yeah that's i think that's that, that's nice so now i want to uh, put some some shadow here what i do i click this drop shadow option then then after clicking this drop shadow option they will give me some options in there so i'll be able to change the color i can change the color to white can change the color to black so let me just use uh, red this dark yeah you see mm, what can we use we can use even white but it's no longer no, good but it's fine yeah let's just remove this thing it's running this uh, this post you see i think it's nice the first tool you use it to to move things so let's just move this thing just for demonstration purpose uh graduation I can I can find the text that I'm looking for. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. It doesn't look that nice. Let's just change it. And we put something like this, yeah. Blending options and guys just 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 watch and learn, just watch and learn. Yeah, just watch and learn. Some of the things I won't be just I won't be saying them, but you'll just learn as I'm designing. So that's how it is. It's just a simple, simple, simple poster. Yeah. Just a simple poster. Yeah. And, and the other thing that I, uh, I want to teach you how it works is this pen tool. Pen tool is very, 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 very important. Yeah, it's very important. Uh, now most of the time I use I use a uh, pen tool and curvature curvature pen tool so curvature pen tool actually what it does everything you draw with it is like in curves in curves it has curves but the pen tool it's just uh, uh, it doesn't really have curves like I will show. I will, I will just show you the difference now. No, no. Uh,
this red is ruining this thing which which other color can i put uh, let's just put white let's just put white or even gray can do so yes i think i think it's 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 fine it's fine we don't need to perfect it that much graphic design takes time so let me show you how how how, how this uh pen tool works uh you can use it to create some shapes uh you can just uh let's just create one shape uh, you see you can just create some shapes You see now that's how it works that's how it works that's how it works it's not nice but I'm just trying to show you guys how these tools works so let me let me also show you the curvature pen tool the, the curvature pen tool can do something like this you see the moment I draw it uh, it uses shapes so I most of the time I use a uh, pen tool and curvature tool at the same time so now I want to create uh, a shape that is not curved I switch back to pen tool and I create another curve so it can be this side yeah then if I want to change the color, uh, I click here. It's called a rectangular tool. If you click on the rectangular tool, then at the top there, there's fill. Then you can just change the color to any color. You can even uh, change to any gradient that you want. So that's how, that's how this thing works that's how this thing works let's just delete that layer uh, you see this one so most of the time i i try to duplicate this thing just to uh for it to look some uh to look beautiful i i click alt and hold it then after clicking alt and holding it it will display two arrows so which means you can duplicate it uh, by duplication i mean like you make it to have uh, a similar copy so you just click and hold alt then you click on it then you move it which means now there are two what you do you you change the color there by simply clicking on and that layer that you want to change the color on then go into blending options then go to uh, gradient overlay then, and yeah you see let me just choose a different gradient you see it's it's something something different I, I think you have seen some designs where those graphic designers have done something like this so that's how that's how they did it actually that's how they did it that's how they did it uh, i will share the credits uh, in the description box i'll share them the credits i have like more than i think they are more than 200 this time so I will share them in the description box so that you'll be able to, to download them and use them. Yeah, they save so much time. So yeah, that's why I, I recommend them rather than starting them from scratch. So yeah.
Yeah, uh, guys, the graphic design takes time. So I'm just trying to do something there. Just watch and learn how I use these tools. But it's not that beautiful. And it's just, yeah. I think I think this is nice guys I'm sharing some some things that I took time just to just to learn them some of the things no one taught me I just thought about them right but if I put this thing then I put this thing what's gonna happen so it's just a combination of some a few things that I've learned But anyway, I think this one is much better. It's much better. It's much better than the other one. So that's how that's how we do it. I won't do uh, a full poster with you guys. So I'm just I'm just showing you how they work. So let's just delete everything and leave this one. The other one is this one, is uh, this rectangular tool. Yeah, I know I've skipped this thing. This one is more similar to, to the move tool. It's also for moving shapes. So rectangular tool, what you can do, you can draw a rectangle or a square or something like this. So maybe write the date 24 20, 20, 24 July 2020 so what you what you need to what you <coughs> what you should do if you want to change the, the 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 color of the text you just click it uh you see this thing is blink somewhat uh, blinking and everything so you, you just click it then you, you click ctrl a and you will select the whole text then uh there's an option here at the top so you can just change it to any color i choose white for now let's just move it and see what's gonna happen you see this thing it's like this and it's it's too is big for, for 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 this rectangle so what you do you just uh click this uh this shape then you increase the size of the shape that's how it is if you want to duplicate the shape you click alt then you drag it and what you can do you can do something like this something like this something like this you see yeah i'm just showing you basics i'm not really going deeper yeah i'm just i think these are just basics yeah these are just basics and the other thing uh the other interesting tool is this one this uh this uh rounded rectangular tool so let's just draw something here you see there the, 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 the at the corners there it's like it's rounded it's very 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 nice so what i like about it is this part this part this part uh you can just uh a link here and then and start to to move this thing you see how it is isn't it beautiful it's very 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 nice so I like this tool so much. I like it so much. So it makes just things simple. Yeah. You can do something like. 
eighty. A T M A T M can just do something like this. I feel like it's big. You click on it and you it it drag it down. So A T M you can just say. So it presents presents you can just decrease the size presents then try and crop this thing because of time guys we're gonna move I'm gonna move very very fast you see it looks some uh, what nice onion. let me just connect to the internet uh, because connect to the internet Just click one layer, then you you click Control, Control V, Control V. It's for pasting. So yeah, to move the layer, the layers. Uh, I don't know how to explain them, but uh, this layer is on top of all of them. So if you want to to go down a bit. You just uh, click this thing click it and hold it then you move the cursor downwards so that's how you move it let's move it I think this is the last stage yeah that's how it is you see this the this thing uh, this picture is like some hard uh, hard uh, it's not uh, it's not blending with the uh, the the our background current so what you need to do you can use either the the brush tool or you can also use oh what am i doing what am i doing you can also use uh what it's called gradient tool so let me show you how it works this gradient tool what you do you just select this thing and um Add the layer mask then let's go to gradient gradient so you click on this image then you move this thing so it's gonna create some it's gonna try to blend and I try to blend you see it's trying to blend so yeah that's how it is keep on moving it until it's like that so that's how it is so let's change the color of the background I get the color of the background is white let's let's change it maybe to something else to change that blending options then we change it uh, maybe change it to red let's go to gradient overlays you see ah uh, it's uh it's not that nice but uh, i was just trying to show you how you can change the background this thing is still having some white things what you can do you can just go to normal 
So what you can, no, as you can see, when I'm moving this thing, uh, the picture, the picture, it's changing how it's appearing on the post. So let's let's just click overlay. You see, it's like it's part of uh, the background now. So that's what we need. That's what we need. I think that's it. That's it, guys. That's it. These are just basics. We'll go deeper uh, in the next uh, in the next session. For now, I'm just giving basics. Yeah, just keep on practicing, guys. Just keep on practicing. Yeah, I'll be assisting you guys with everything that we need to know. So, if you haven't uh, seen my work, you can just go to my Instagram page uh, at uh, petition uh, underscore VM and also Appetition Visual Media on Facebook. So, I think for today, that's it. Uh, we're gonna see each other next Friday. Bye. Thank you for watching our videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you.